Well, folks, let me be the first to welcome you to the SmackDown recap, and you've joined us here on one compelling episode of SmackDown. We would see a lot on wine here tonight. Duncan would have said that there would be a pick your poison for the triple threat competitors for the World Heavyweight Championship, but the first match of the night was Riley Sparks versus Cody Rhodes. If Riley Sparks would lose, Cody Rhodes would join Evan Bourne, Zack Ryder in that Intercontinental Championship match at Extreme Rules. And right here, Riley Sparks sounded off on his opponents, saying all the bad things about them, saying just negative things about them. But why not, man? This is wrestling, right? You have to take on your opponents. Then Cody Rhodes would come out. Cody Rhodes was phenomenal in this matchup, man. He did what he had to do. He picked up the win over Riley Sparks. And while he did what he did, man, um, Cody would talk. Yeah, Cody would always talk. He would talk and then get his ass kicked by Brodus Clay and Riley Sparks, which was sending a message pretty much from Riley Sparks to all his his other guys in that matchup, Zack Ryder, Evan Bourne, telling him, you don't want to mess with me. I'm ready. I'm ready to defend my championship. Then we would see Vicky Guerrero in the back with the referee, not knowing what happens, but we would figure out later on or in the night that what just happened. And here was the next match. Mason Ryan, Mark Henry, the powerhouses of perfection took on the WWE Tag Team Champions. Zack Ryder, sorry, Daniel Bryan and William Regal. Wow, I got Zack Ryder on the line. We would see this matchup right here. It was a match that was completely dominated by Mark Henry and Mason Ryan until Daniel Bryan used his brain and out -ank was well, well, I didn't use my brain there. He outsmarted Mason Ryan. And was able to tag in his partner, William Regal. William Regal did the rest. Daniel Bryan, William Regal pick up the win. Ready to go into the Extreme Rules soon. And then we would see Tyson Kidd talk to Mr. Duncan. Mr. Duncan, very happy he was able to get Tyson Kidd off the trade for Chris Jericho. And Tyson Kidd said he's ready to be a name. And then we would see Christian and Shelton been, been talking in the back just about who Christian's opponent would be. Christian's match would be up next. His pick your poison match was up next. Shelton Benjamin would end up picking the new superstar for the man formerly known as Albert. L Lord Tensite would come out. And right here, the match was looking like Christian was getting ready to go. Tensai would drag the referee. Tensai would grab the steel chair and smack the living bejesus out of out of Christian, Shelton Benjamin would bring the chair to, chair to Tensai, and Tensai would pick up the win over Christian. Shelton Benjamin just pretty much screwing over Christian right there. A message sent from Shelton Benjamin to Christian right there, symbol of that. And then we would move on to this. Trent Barrett had a match, but Maxine came out and enticed him out of it, and yeah, that was it. Then we would have the next match right here, a mixed tag team match. When Dolph Ziggler teamed up with, I guess right now, this is the way I'm supposed to say it, the number one contender for the Women's Championship, Vicky Guerrero, to take on the team of the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, and the Women's Champion, AJ Lee. This match right here was a pretty fun match until this moment right here. Look at that. That right there is blatant interference from Vicky, but the ref would say Ziggler and Vicky would pick up the win. This would leave AJ Styles pissed as hell, saying, what the hell has happened? I think we saw somebody being bribed or something happening. And then we would see Zack Ryder in the back talking about his matchup next against Evan Bourne and that he wants to be the Intercontinental Champion and all this. And then we would see another mixed tag team match when Evan Bourne and Beth Phoenix would team up to take on the team of Layla. And the Long Island IZ himself, Zack Ryder. This one's taking forever, man. Look at it. There's Zack Ryder. There's Layla. This match was uh, fun. I'm going to tell you that much. It was a fun matchup. It was pleasure calling this matchup. Beth Phoenix right here. She came in after the tag from her partner of Evan Bourne and just laid down Layla with that glam slam. And Evan Bourne and Beth Phoenix would pick up the win. Then we would see Justin Gabriel and East later in the back fighting about the European Championship. And Justin told him, you know what? Screw off. I'm going to kick your ass. And then we would have a tag team match, which we were supposed to have last week, when Booker T teams up with Drew McIntyre to take on Jack Swagger and Rey Mysterio. But, but, there's a big but again. But history would repeat itself as... The man known as Rey Mysterio would do it again and say he would only compete on pay-per-view shows from now on. He would never compete on SmackDown or Raw or anything like that anymore. And he would announce that Brodus Clay again. History beats itself. Brodus Clay would replace him here tonight. And this time, 
Jack Swagger able to make Booker T able to make Drew McIntyre submit by that ankle lock. Wow, that right there was a big surprise to me. I didn't think Drew would tap out. And then we would have another match. This match right here was apparently set up by Ezekiel Jackson. Ezekiel Jackson trying to prove to everyone that he's ready to be a powerhouse, that he's ready to be a world champion here. And by doing that, it's to unstop the stop the unstoppable cane at the moment right now. But this one right here, ladies and gentlemen, was just a beatdown, a straight down beatdown. What Kane's been doing to everyone, man. Kane right now is unstoppable, and I'm scared that it's, it's not going to stop. And Kane would hit the choke slam right here. Kane lifted him up. Bam. Kane delivered the choke slam. Kane would pick up the win. And then after that, Undertaker would come out and say he wants Kane at Extreme Rules in an Inferno match. And I went ballistic. I went crazy. And then we would see Jack Swagger in the back have given an interview about saying how he's going to kick out every immigrant out of the WWE here. But Drew McIntyre said, you know what? I've had enough of you. I'm going to kick your ass right now. And then our cameras would find down one of the Usos, find Jay Uso down. Jimmy finds him, and well, we don't even know who attacked him or what the hell just happened or what happened to him. I don't know, man. We're gonna see what happens. And then we would have our main event when Juan took on Shelton Benjamin, but Kofi Kingston would want to see this matchup. He would want to see from ringside, and he he came out. So next, Juan would come out to take on Shelton Benjamin. What was an awesome main event here on SmackDown, like always. And they would fight. They would fight, man. This was a fight. I'm going to tell you that much. This was a fight. And right here, Kofi said, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to watch anymore. I'm ready to send a message to the world champion that I want the championship. Peace out.